welcome. Come on in. I'm so glad you could come today. We're introducing our brand new book, In the Neighborhood. It's the second volume in our At Papa's Knee series of children's devotionals, and we have a very special story today. It's called Old Enemies, and I think that you're going to find it to be a great deal of fun. Papa pointed to Samuel in the park, standing near a group of boys. There he is, Mercy. The birthday party must be about over. He's standing by himself. Mama pulled into the parking space and waved to Samuel to call him over to the car. Samuel didn't look too happy as he ran to the car. He jumped into the back seat and the car door made a loud slam as he pulled it shut, putting an exclamation mark on his bad mood. Papa looked at Mama. Mama looked at Papa. Papa quietly said, Mercy, I would love to talk to Samuel a little bit. We can walk home. Would that be all right with you? Thank you. Yes, I was just going to read with Gracie and start dinner, Mama replied with a grateful glance. Papa turned to the back seat and remarked to Samuel, It's a wonderful day for a walk, young man. Let's stretch our legs. Samuel, who was nearly always a happy-go-lucky eight-year-old, replied with a muffled, Okay, Papa, and got out of the car. They stood watching Mama drive off, and Papa looked down just in time to see Samuel wipe his hand across his eyes and sniffle. What's wrong, Samuel? Stomping and slamming doors aren't like you. Papa started walking along the shady path through the park. Oh, Papa, I'm just disappointed, I guess, sighed Samuel, stretching his legs to keep up. Remember when we talked about that boy at school who's always mean and I said I would try to talk with him and play with him and be kind? Samuel looked up and Papa nodded. Well, that sure didn't work. Papa listened as Samuel told about his afternoon. Oh my, I'm sorry, Samuel, but you did the right thing. They strolled along for a few minutes in silence. But, but Papa, it didn't help. He is still just as mean as ever, Samuel finally replied. Samuel, you aren't responsible for his actions, but you do need to mind your own. Did you know that the Bible says, if possible, live at peace with everyone, do that as much as you can? You be kind, Samuel, and pray for him. God has to take care of the rest. Samuel looked at his grandfather. Papa, he said firmly, that boy will never change. He just wants to be my enemy. Papa smiled. Samuel, I have a story for you then. It's hard to remember sometimes that God's love can change hearts. Papa looked off across the long years of his memory. It was a long, long time ago now. I was just a young preacher. I went to a big meeting of pastors from across the whole nation. Our special guests were over 200 Native Americans who'd come to tell of the missions work on the reservation where they lived. Well, Papa continued, a man named Reverend Tyson was speaking to us all. He was very, very old. He mentioned that he had at one time been the enemy of the tribe now seated in the church service. In fact, Mr. Tyson said he was a soldier at Custer's campaign in Wyoming and fought in a terrible battle against them. He was going on to tell how sorry he was when suddenly a large, aged Native American man slowly stood up. Oh, the place was silent. The Native American man spoke up. I was in that battle and we fought you terribly. I was Mr. Tyson's bitter enemy, but now I am happy to hear him preach the gospel. No longer enemies, we are now brothers in Jesus. Oh, Samuel, Mr. Tyson's voice quivered as he asked in front of all those people, will you come shake hands with your old time enemy, now your Christian brother? So the old man made his way down the aisle with great effort and climbed the stairs to the stage. As the two men met each other, they didn't even stop to shake hands. They couldn't even speak, Samuel. They just fell into each other's arms and sobbed with joy. Then the whole audience stood up and sang, Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. You see, Samuel, old enemies can become brothers in the Lord. Samuel was standing still, and Papa could practically see the thoughts racing through his mind. Papa! That must have been so exciting. I would love to be a part of a miracle like that. Nodding, Papa smiled. By sowing the seeds of God's love and kindness, you already are a part of a miracle like that. You are doing your part so that someday God's love can change hearts. Now, 
Are you ready to go home? He squeezed Samuel's hands tightly. Samuel smiled, all traces of the former storm gone. Yes, Papa, and I'll try to remember what you said. Let's go. Mama's making macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it's important to remember, isn't it? We aren't always responsible for other people's actions, but we always are responsible for our own. So we can do what's right and pray for others so that God can change their hearts someday. Thank you for coming by. I hope to see you again soon when you're ready for another story from In the Neighborhood.